I'm in the Hyundai Tucson. Sorry. Hyundai Tucson. I'm in the Hyundai Tucson. This is the 2.0 uh, variant called Elegance. Yeah. And um, okay, interior time. So yeah, just talking about the interior, what I feel. It's. I like how it feels. I like how it looks. I like. I like being in here, but I think for the money that you pay for a car, it's pretty nothing. Not many features, nothing to shout about. And uh, let me just walk you through it. Let's experience the car together. When I first got in and uh, I looked at the visibility, I was like, okay, this is cool, but it really seems like a really huge car. Driving it around, you really feel like it's huge. So let's just look at the meter cluster. Very simple analog. I think this is enough, actually. Yeah, as you can see, only the middle of the meter cluster where it's optional, you can do different things. And um, the feel of this, I actually like it quite a bit it's very nice um very nice touch to it it's leather very nice feel i love the buttons how the buttons feel i mean just listen to the sound it feels very very premium here feels a little bit cheap yeah that sound not really my thing this okay so that's auto down but it doesn't auto up yeah i kind of expect i don't know cars at this price range to at least give you auto up and auto down but maybe they're focusing more on other things of the car for example how quiet this car is see there's a car coming on the left cannot hear anything right there are more cars coming so i'm just going to nothing don't hear anything at all i think that's amazing again kudos to you hyundai Tucson. Yeah, uh, these are soft, kind of, it's not, see, malleable, no, not that malleable. Middle console, you can see, right, this is totally empty, and these is basically fitted for the 1.6 turbo one, where you have more options, dual climate control, aircon, but this one is just very simple, very basic, and I do feel that you should actually give it with more specs, but hey, some people would want a car that drives like this, with very minimal specs, don't need much that's fine too i so they give two 12 volt sockets but they only give like one usb socket i don't get why auxiliary cable here more options in the 1.6 turbo this one is just hill descent yep hill descent off okay aircon um how the uh, infotainment system is this is a seven inch one how responsive is it? It's rather laggy. It's okay. Not crazy as laggy, but it's laggy, no doubt. Um, yeah. Again, I don't, I don't understand why it's so low spec. I'm a, I'm really quite disappointed. I expected more because I think this car can do so much. So, this is a gear shift, gear shift. Again, I like these. It feels very manual. And best part, I love car with a proper handbrake instead of the electric handbrake. I don't like the electric handbrake. I love this type of handbrakes but then this car, I actually drove off with the handbrake up before I forgot to put it down. It happens guys. It happens. So I forgot to put it down and I could just drive. It started beeping and I was like why did it start beeping? Because I accidentally drove the handbrake up. Yeah. But I'm quite surprised. Like, how come I'm allowed to drive it with the handbrake up? So I'm like, huh, maybe I'm not going to see anything. Yeah. Two cup holders here. In the middle, um, just your middle console, places to put stuff. Um, at the top here, you have your visor, which has no light. Yep, didn't expect any light. Sunglasses holder, lights, lights. Um, here, this side, yeah, rather plasticish. The design is very simple, all black. I feel you can at least go a little bit more out there and put a little bit more things, but I get that you want to be a little bit subtle as well. Leather seats, you see? to saw here i mean tuxen here like okay why do you spend money on these kind of things when you can spend money on other things for example put more features maybe more safety features maybe keyless entry this car comes with non-keyless entry um yeah i'm just maybe the priorities are different but i would rather that than this kind of thing but hey maybe you like it it's completely okay
They even allow you to lock your mat here. These, these kind of things they put with this car, but you know, it's like bare minimum, the basics not even there, but they give all this sort of premium options. So it's kind of very confusing. I love the bag because it's reclinable. It failed, so this is supposed to pop up like that. Ah, again, I failed. Okay, so yeah. Very kind, very very comfortable. This is my leg space again. I know it's me. My leg room. I open two cup holders here, and uh, basically it's very very basic. Again, you have compartments here, and uh, guess what this is, guys? Yeah. When I first got the car, car was like bing bing bing. Come, I show you the back seat. Wah, 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 wah. So this is to always remind you that you do not have enough money to purchase the one point six liter one, which is the highest spec one. Don't la la that's and that that's them sad. But yeah. There's nothing <laughs> There's even the dent indent here to show like this, there's supposed to be real aircon vents here. Cause yeah, really yeah, that's really about it. Let's hit the boot. There's a button here, you open. And you have your you have your toner cover here and they even give you a place to properly put your toner cover. You see these kind of initiatives, right? A lot of cars don't do it. But Kia, Hyundai, Kia pula, but Hyundai you do it. But at the same time, like the bare minimum of going into premium is not there, but you go and do all this. So it's very confusing for me. Like you put this but then don't have like that. You do that but then don't have this. How lah? Okay, so this is not powered and I'm I I'm I'm okay with not powered because it's fairly easy to close. Huh. Yeah, so this is my interior of the car and obviously I can fit in the boot lah, huh? And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the exterior now Exterior, exterior Oh, there's one thing which I really like that I have to show you guys Yeah. Hi guys, Hyundai Tucson. Sorry, it's a Hyundai Tucson. It's here, and I hate these lights. I hate when people put white lights with yellow lights. So ugly. I think the whole profile of the car looks very nice, but this I cannot take. I don't get it. Don't like it. Okay, so these are actually your daytime running lights, LED daytime running lights, and I don't like when people mix. Like these lights with halogen lights, why? Why? Yeah, I know it's lower spec and maybe you want to push for people to get the higher spec one, but oh. Okay, so anyway, looking at the front, I think it looks much better than its predecessor because they actually link this together already. I think it looks very, very nice. Um, I think they didn't overdo it. The face looks fierce but friendly and it has a little bit of... Um, eyeshadow here I would say. Low profile of it, it looks very nice. Um, I love the color on this 17 inch rims and I think I, I actually think that the 17 inch rims is rather appropriate for a car this size and then I'm thinking like my NCS 17 inch rims but yeah I love the lines on the Tucson as well. Looking at the back I've been looking at the back for quite a bit now. Can't help but feel like the back reminds me of a CX-3, kind of. Let me know what you think, but I like that it's so clean. You know a lot of car makers now, when they make designs of the car, they make it look very fierce, very angular, but no, this one has ang has angles definitely, but it's not very overboard with the lines. Very nice, it's curvaceous enough. Um, I think as compared to the previous one, the previous one is was really round. And this one added a few more lines, but not too many lines. And I really like that. There's like three lines here. I love this. I love how they incorporated everything. There are a lot of components of design here. And it all blends very well together. Mana exhaust. They don't go and try and be like, hey, we got banyak, like this big exhaust. No, you see, they have like this small exhaust there. They don't try and show off or anything. They're like, yeah, okay, like we got exhaust, but we don't want the exhaust to make the car sound noisy. It's a very quiet car. Love this car. I don't get why they don't have keyless entry. La. Come on, no keyless entry. Seriously, not foldable. But yeah, this is basically my walk around. Guys, tell me what you think of this car. I think this car has so much potential to be so much better 
so many ways. Such. It's quite sad to see lah, but yeah. Bye guys!